and my focus is on you. Say yes, I have a dream, and my dreams will come true. Only if I put my trust, and my focus is on you. Yeah, this is your man, this is your boy, Big Bro. And keep it locked in with Cashy and Jamal on 107.9, you know, Inspiration Station. You heard? Let's keep it locked. This is Inspiration 107.9 FM, the station for the nation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How you doing? How you feeling? It's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. It's so great to be in your company, ladies and gentlemen. And we're back again with another edition of Artists of the Week Spotlight, ladies and gentlemen. And we got a great, uh, we got a great show for you, ladies and gentlemen. So I want you to sit back, relax, call your friend, text everybody you know, let them know Legacy Church is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. And they brought some brand new music, ladies and gentlemen. And so I want to welcome to the show uh, the one and only Apostle Pastor Rosemary Pina. You get it right? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> And uh, we are joining us as well. I am Stax here. He's joining us as well this afternoon. How are you doing, sir? I'm well. What's up, Thomas? It's so great to have you both here. And ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to give him a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> we thank both of you for joining us this afternoon. Always a pleasure to have you both uh, on the line. And we're going to talk about some good stuff. Let me get some music in here. Yeah, there we go. And so, how are you both doing today? Man, doing great. It's great to be on the show with you, for sure. Every time is is a great time. You know, the last time I had you on, Apostle, it would have been, uh, I think you were just making the transition to Legacy, I think. It was kind of a while ago, or you might have been Legacy for like a few months, I think. Uh, and so, before we get into the music, tell us what's been happening uh, over there at Legacy Church? Man, so many things, great things. Um, God is definitely blessing the work and his hand is upon us, is without question. Not just because of our growth, and we've grown uh, tremendously um, over the last few years, um, but also what he's doing in the people, which is really where my heart is. You know, you can grow a large crowd, but are the people being transformed? And we've seen so much transformation uh, in our people. And then just the impact of everything that God is doing in their lives, in their uh, families, in their marriages, all of that that makes a shepherd um, excited and happy. Uh, So we have good problems, you know, like the space we are in at the moment is beginning to be a little too small for for us mm-hmm. but we're believing god and moving and moving and trusting and um seeing what he has on the other side of maybe a next transition right 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 i i, I see your, your your promos all the time you, the the social media team is working overtime so shout out to them <laughs> as well yes, i owe them i owe them sushi actually as you speak oh nice because they're doing such an amazing job and yeah. so they have goals to meet, and they have exceeded them. They really have. Yeah, I should have been on that team. I could go with some sushi. Uh, but <laughs> as we continue our talk this afternoon, um, the the music. Let's talk about the music side. I visited the church uh, many a time, uh, and the praise, the worship, the prophetic uh, has always been such a big part that has jumped out to me. Uh, and so now this move of correct me if i'm wrong is a legacy global music group that's that's the name of it yes that's gonna be kind of like the label oh the label Um, okay and so we launched the song under legacy global music but it's bigger than just a group Mm -hmm. it's 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 a whole different um type of vision Mm. Um, yeah tell us about it tell us about the vision so, um, well, first, let me just say, you know, God began my personal journey uh, with worship and understanding and explaining worship and 
really what it means um, to me and to every believer beyond the music. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in the music uh, world for quite some time and I have a burden for not just the music itself, but for the artist and the worshiper. And so Legacy Global Music is more than just a, a music label or a music group. It's about really um, doing the stewardship part of um, pastoring and shepherding uh, these creatives that the Lord has sent. We have yeah. not just you know people that sing, we have people that have a calling uh, to release songs and sounds and anthems, uh, not just for the Bahamas, but for the nations. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was not allow them to just go off and, and try to do this uh, gospel music scene without having a proper foundation. So mm. it's, it's about helping them to understand their gift, understand uh, their calling, understand the theology um, of worship and then helping them to have a firm foundation and a good platform for the moment that they launch out right. uh, because i know that god has given us and entrusted to us to steward over these gifts that are not for this nation they are for the world and um uh to have a global impact really and i want to them not to be, you know, not to become casualties of the world of music, even within the gospel music industry, they can easily become casualties if they don't have a firm foundation. My God. Um, so it's a lot more holistic. Um, what we want to do is even as we release music is to help them. We're going to, uh, in, in different ways, fund them mm -hmm. to release their projects and, uh, give them a, a, a good startup. Yeah. If you will. Yeah, yeah. And you have so many gifts in the house already uh, that could be able to help them with all of the different aspects. One of those gifts, I am Stax. Uh, and he is joining us this afternoon as well. I am Stax. My brother. Hey, how you doing, family? I am well. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and definitely we're going to have an extensive uh, interview with you at some time or another, because we know we, you're always producing uh, music. You're always uh, keeping your feet to the fire, as they would say. But uh, tell me your, imp your input uh, in this new move and, of course, on this new song. We're going to talk about the song in just a few minutes. Well, my pastor, our, our theme for the year 2024 is Ascend. And my pastor would have reached out to me, I think it was probably last year, approaching New Year's New Year's Eve service, I think, mm -hmm. watch night service. And she said, hey, the Lord is speaking to me about 2024 and the theme is going to be Ascend. Wow. And uh, I want to create a song, you know, I'm going to create somewhat of an anthem behind it. Mm -hmm. And immediately I, I began to think of lyrics, think of words, think of the anthem, you know, the great uh, Lauren, Arthur Neil Humes. Yeah. Sat with him, gave him the vision. He produced the beat and, you know, our amazing praise team and the rest is history. So me being a son of this house, I, I don't think there's anything that could be asked of me that I would, and, and I'm able to do it that I won't do. Like, mm -hmm. I, it's just a privilege and an honor to serve this house. So after we did the music video and everything was getting ready to be released, I thought this isn't going to be a one-time thing. Like, yeah. You just felt like, okay, this is about to be something bigger, something greater. So I had the privilege and the honor, the, the absolute honor to write the Ascent song. Uh, and then wow. Lauren produced it and, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's SSB Studios recorded it. It was mixed and mastered by Thompson Miskelin. And the rest is really history. So man, I'm just I'm just a happy son that's mm -hmm. glad that he gets to play a part in cooking dinner. That's yeah. the best way I can put it. <laughs> Legacy is cooking. 
And I'm just glad to be able to bring some ingredients to the table. So I'm just happy just to serve, bro. Right, right, right. I understand. And and for both of you, before we, we get ready to play the song in a few minutes, uh, tell me about the vision for the music video as well. Because, I, I mean, the music video is, is, is epic. Kind of reminds me of those music videos in the 90s where it's just not like, you know, we're going to get in the room and then we're just going to have like a couple of shots. It's, it, it, it tells a story. Uh, it shows that you kind of really prayed about it, you thought about it, and you put a lot of, um, not to use the pun legacy, but I mean, you, you have the legacy aspect in there of the ge different generations in there as well. You know what's beautiful about uh, being a visionary leader mm -hmm. with um, so many gifts around me mm -hmm. is that they are able to capture a vision mm -hmm. and literally put it to work so um you know when we talked about how we're gonna release the song um whether we were gonna just do youtube a uh, lyric video mm -hmm. um release the the audio of course and all social media outlets etc um then we thought about well let's do let's do a music video Okay. And literally, Alex, who's like he said, I, I love that metaphor, by the way, Alex, is bringing uh, some some stuff to the table in the kitchen while we're cooking. He literally ran with the vision and just ran with it. He, mm. he did all of it and he would bring it back and say, here are the thoughts. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? But I could just I released it into his hands and he ran with it. So he will have to share with you how they came up with um, the storyline and all of that. All right, sure. Share with us. Go ahead, Alex. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. She's so nice and kind hearted. I love it. <laughs> so. Go ahead. I think you muted yourself. You muted yourself, sir. Sorry. <laughs> so universal flow uh -huh. is the name of the videographer mm -hmm. listen this is perhaps one of the most meekest videographers i think i've met in a long time he he sat with us he heard our vision and he said okay i i hear what you're saying okay let's really make this about a set ending which is not just what god is doing in legacy but this is the city. How can we produce a storyline that embodies the message of ascending beyond just it being an in-house thing? And it was really going back and forth with him. And he was like, okay, we need some Bibles. Mm. We need some flyers. Mm. We need to go on the fort. We need a storyline. We need someone coming to Christ. We need it's someone being pursued. We need y'all out with picket signs. We need y'all. His thing was, if we're going to ascend, we have to literally take the city. So it really was him having, just being a straight up genius and really just pastor having a the vision. Then all of us just literally putting our heads together. So man, he got to give credits to him. He did an amazing job. All right. And it's, just to okay. back off of that for a second, it does highlight, you know, the work that we've already done. So us out there praying for people, we have drive up prayer, which began uh, last year. So it's not anything that we had to conjure up right. or to pretend that we do. It is legacy and what we've been doing in the city um, since the inception or since the shift uh, to legacy church. So he was, uh, he beautifully captured the heart of our ministry and the heart of the people of Legacy, which was uh, really uh, what won me over. And he captured the generations, you know, um, which again, I say, you know, you can't be Legacy and the children are not visible and the children are not empowered to do what the adults are doing. Mm. And he captured that beautifully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could definitely see it all over the video. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about that time. Let's uh, let's run the track, as the DJ said. Uh, so any of you, uh, any one of you, you can uh, introduce the song uh, for the nation as we get ready to play it uh, on the Inspiration Station. Awesome. So Bahamas, 
Uh, this song we give to you as uh, an anthem, not just to highlight legacy, but to really capture the heart of the Father that it is time for all of us as believers uh, to take the city. And as we take the city, it's not about building a brand or building um, a, a denomination or anything like that. It's really about souls. The heart of God right now is crying out for the harvest. And we just captured it in song and sound and music. It's time for the sons and daughters to be made manifest and to go out to the city and do what we've been called to do. Let's make disciples of all nations and let's take the city. Ascend. Right here on the Inspiration Station, 107.9 FM. Make sure and touch your dial. We're coming right back. Let's go up. Ascend, 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 take the city, take the city, take the city, take the city, let's go, ascend, 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 take the city, take the city, take the city, take the city, you got it by now. Get information. 23 was firm foundation. 24, please tell a friend. Time to ascend. We want the nations. We prayed, we sowed, we plowed. The time to ascend is now. It's time to be bold, we loud. The walls are falling down. We going on for his glory. We're gonna tell the story. He gave us the ball, he told us to shoot, and we're gonna do it. Kobe, he increased, we decrease. He gives the earth to the meek. We are his children, we have dominion. We want the laws, give us the sheep. Romans 8 verse 19, the Passion Translation says, The entire universe is standing on tiptoe, yearning to see the unveiling of God's glorious sons and daughters. The earth awaits the ascension. Here we come, there we go, we got a march in orders. We're gonna take the city, we are the sons and daughters. Here we come, there we go, we got a march in orders. We're gonna take the city. We are the sons and daughters. It's only a matter of time. Although we have melted to climb, the one who splits the sea has made a home in me. Possess the land, possess the land, possess the land, possess the land, possess the land. instruction firm up your foundation and sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you now we ascend and the command comes from Joshua chapter 6 we've marched around the city and we have sounded the trumpet and I have one command to say to you shout for the Lord has given us the city 
Inspiration 107.9 FM, your station for the nation. Legacy Music Group, ladies and gentlemen. No, what am I saying? <laughs> Legacy Global Music. There we go. Uh, that one called Ascend. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here with you, ladies and gentlemen. We have Apostle Rosemary joining us. I am Stax. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap up in a few uh, but also, we want to find out what is next. What is next uh, for Legacy? What is next for the music group? Uh, what could we expect and what, what could we look forward to uh, coming up in the next few months uh, into the next maybe year, if you can say? What's not top secret? Oh, man. So um, there's a lot. There's definitely a lot happening and that God has already begun to uh, speak to us about concerning uh, legacy global music i already have the, the writers writing for next year uh, we will be releasing a five song ep um, with different artists as a part of it i, I want to do a bilingual project or somewhat of showing uh, the different nations that are part of us so mm -hmm. um, i've already spoken to oslin Jador, and he will be writing a bilingual song for us with our theme mm. um, for the next year. So it will be in Creole and English. Um, I'll probably write a, one in Spanish and English. So our worship team is going to have to learn some other languages, which is going to be uh, amazing. Uh, we're also this year, we have a conference coming up in November called Legacy Builders Conference. You'll be hearing about that. And we're still hitting the city. Uh, Drive Up Prayer uh, will continue. We're going to have a, a rally um, next time. Um, one of the parks, you'll see that coming up as well in the month of November. And uh, we're going to continue to plow and build. And more than anything, which is uh, my heart, is to build people, mm. not just build an organization or a movement. And so you'll see how we do that over the next few months. 2025 is going to be exciting. We're going to get to work right away. And hopefully by mid-year, we'll have uh, the EP ready to roll out. We also, Keisha Gan, let me tell you how amazing uh, this house is. We, we have been given the task, because it is a task, to steward over these creatives. I Am Stacks has music coming out. Mm -hmm. We have another young man named Stephen Seaford that just did a live recording and his songs are going to be uh, anthems for nations. There's no question about it. Wow. And as well as um, as we release Legacy Global Music, uh, we're also going to push those um, musicians, singers, artists that are a part of us whose time is it is to come forward. So we're going to like like we said earlier, we're going to help them to have a firm foundation and to push out and release. So one of them that I'm going to push and she's going to cringe when she hears it is um, <laughs> Alex's wife, Jade Hepburn. I think it's time for her yeah. uh, to release a single. And she's done an amazing job with our worship team as our worship director. Uh, it's oh, just wow. time for her to go out there. So mm -hmm. bless God for everything that he's doing in our midst. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Before we get ready to wrap up, we want to go around the room. Uh, I am Stacks. going to start with you. We're going to wrap up with Apostle. Uh, get your closing comments um, as uh, we as we bask in this just wonderful time. It's really been an exciting time to speak with you, too. Uh, but I am Stacks, your closing comments. Always a blessing and a privilege, brother. Love you. Thank you. you I want to take this opportunity to thank you mm -hmm. for over a decade of allowing me to be on your platform um i consider you a brother so that's one of the first of all I'll start off by saying thank you thank you to zed and that's for always my opinion you know giving me a voice appreciate it i want to end by saying service stabilizes you know it songs deep because it is i just wanted to say to the person who is in a place where they're serving you're probably a teacher serving you're probably a janitor a janitress a waiter a waitress you're probably a coach and you're in a place where you're serving and you're not understanding the space or the season that you're in if you don't reap the benefits of your service whereas you don't get that check or you don't get that recognition you're going to get stability one of the things i learned this year 
is that service stabilizes. So to the weary servant who is tired and you know looking for for answers, oh, um, take a time, take a moment to sit back and realize that all this time that you've been serving, if you've been serving with the right heart, you've been stabilizing and stabilizing yourself. So service stabilizes is all I got. All right. Apostle Rosemary. First of all, uh, Alex is a preacher, if you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, I was surprised he was so short. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Thank you again, um, Keshagan, for um, having us on the platform. And like he said, Zedness, I don't take these moments um, for granted. Mm -hmm. And I know that it is a privilege uh, to be highlighted and to be um, recognized uh, for the work and, and the things that God places in your heart to do. Um, I want to go back to, to the same, same uh, message that is in the song. This morning, I was listening to one of my mentors teach, and he gave uh, a quick story of going on a mission field and having a moment where these pastors that were with him were fighting over platform, right? Uh, they were discussing who's going to be the one who speaks uh, at this platform tonight, who's going to open up and all of that. And they were all fighting and they were talking through their tenures and how long they've been in this and who should and who shouldn't. And he said he wept when he uh, went into a shop and found the host of the whole event in the back of a, um, of a, a shop crying out and praying with this young man that he was leading uh, to the Lord in that moment. He said he just looked at it and he wept because while men were fighting for platform, this missionary was fighting for souls. And so my word is for the church, again, as much as the Lord continues to to thrust us into the forefront um, with social media and all of that, at the core, at the heart um, of it all is about getting the message of Jesus out and for souls to come into the kingdom and more than salvation for lives, families, uh, communities to be transformed. And so I, for every single believer, uh, both clergy and those that are members of the body of Christ, we have to get back to the heart of Jesus in this moment. And his heart is still crying out for the harvest. Don't grow weary in doing good. Get back to the basics of this whole thing. He said, go and make disciples. Go and make disciples. And where he's sending us, it may not be to uh, big platforms or uh, large spaces, but even if it's in the back room of a shop somewhere, if you add one soul to the kingdom, your job has been well done. Mm. Wow, that's powerful. That's powerful, Apostle. We appreciate you sharing with us this afternoon. Uh, we appreciate you both uh, for joining us. Artists of the Week, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Legacy Music global music there we go legacy global music put it in your ears put it in your spirit you're going to be hearing more for them over the years ladies and gentlemen and we're going to make sure i bring it to you the inspiration station and yours truly cash King jamal we thank you both for joining us and we look forward to doing this again real soon <laughs> all right make sure to keep it exactly where you've got it much more on the way for you i am stacks and apostle rosemary you're going to say something apostle no, just thank you. <laughs> All right, no problem. Thank you both. We appreciate you joining us, and we'll see you again real soon. Make sure to keep it exactly the way you've got, ladies and gentlemen. This is Inspiration 107.9 FM. Make sure you hang tight and don't touch your dial. Much more is on the way for you.